Hi all, this is Master Muncher and welcome to another 1v1 Unifights Battle episode to the channel. In this matchup we're fighting with our Hodelers, our Shard and Shield unit, the most elite one that we can recruit, we can only recruit two with the mods that we are using, the other one being the Sorbon, so they are just a clear upgrade. 120 soldiers, 80 morale, 17 melee attack, 7 melee defense, 11 charge bonus and 10 armor. A very good offensive unit. Uh, quick to kill, uh, has good staying power because of the high morale and armor, not very good melee defense, but there you have it, our sword and shield unit, the Jodeleros. And today we will be facing the Ikoiki clan, the people's clan, the superior kind of monk clan of Shogun 2 Total War, and we're today facing the Yari Ronin. Now, the Ikoiki cannot recruit samurai, but the Ronin are, in some ways, maybe this... this um, disrespected samurai or just samurai with no masters with no daimyo no lords to serve so they are fighting for the people and there you have it yari ronin 120 soldiers same as us 12 morale 6 melee attack 15 melee defense 15 charge bonus 15 bonus with scavery and 5 armor with hold firm and resistance to morale shocks so their hold firm is a better ability in these matchups than rapid events even though units rapid events, when they lose, they do run in a very hilarious faction. Like, kind of like a Jack Sparrow had a baby with the same boat. It's very fun if we actually see that. But anyway, so the, these Yarin Ronin uh, look more a defensive unit. Let's see how they do against the Hodeleros. We'll start going forward and start this episode. And as usual with this series, <clears throat> the unit that loses will be fully upgraded in the second fight. If it's a 2 nil, the episode ends there. If it's a 1-1, we'll have a third and definitive fight to see which unit wins. Now let's see who actually comes down on top. Both units are unupgraded, the Hodeleros and the Yari Ronin. And as usual guys, please keep uh, um, giving me your suggestion on what matchups you would like to see. And yeah, I'm still trying to start out um, the hard drive problem. So hopefully that will stop being an issue. We'll do this view. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, alright, alright. How was it? 110. 97. Okay. It is a bit slight of a disadvantage because swords do beat spears as usual in Total War games. But let's see how this Yari running will go. They have the same numbers. Uh, one of the reasons why I went with this matchup because the sword Ronin have 40 less and I just want to see how the Portuguese troops will do against the same number of units it does look like we are beating them their high morale, their high defense, defense is not really stopping our, us from killing a good amount of them yeah, it's a good 40 number advantage for us from the fight Ooh. Oh, they are fight like the high morale is making them fight until very late, which is impressive. Respect for that. Our standard bearer still hasn't died. It's pretty cool. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. I mean, yeah, they have less than 30 and still fighting. Respect, respect, Gary Ronin. Respect. Look at this. Our officer right there fighting. And there you have it. With just 12 men they they start running. Impressive. We can run after them, but there you have it. Uh, so the first fight, the Hodeleros beat the Yari Ronin. Uh, I would say quite definitively, but they did kill a good, a, a good amount of us. And they did fight until the last. So fully upgraded, they might actually win. So let's fully upgrade the uh, Yari Ronin and see how the second fight goes. See you guys in a little bit. Hi all, welcome to the second fight of the episode. This time the Yari Ronin are fully upgraded. 20 morale, 10 melee attack, 23 melee defense. Still with 15 charge bonus, 15 bonus for scavery, 5 armor, and their uh, hold firm and resistance to morale shocks. Now they have quite a, an advantage, slight advantage of morale, still lower melee attack, but that's expected, but a very very commanding melee defense over ours. So let's see if the Hodeleros can really prove the rock, paper, scissors kind of deal with a sword, spears and archers in total wars. 
and if our offensive capabilities and our high armor will be a match to their high morale and high middle defense now. And all those did win the first fight, so let's see how this goes. And yeah, I I believe the Rodeleos will win, but I am <laughs> often being proven wrong in these matchups of late. So this might be a surprising one again. The Yari Ronin fully upgraded have a good chance of beating the Rodeleros. Let's wait. Are they gonna charge or are they just gonna hold the charge? Kinda have the feel that they're just gonna hold the charge and I say that and they start running just because they open my mouth. Let's go. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! <laughs> Yeah, our charge did a good job at dropping them. I guess the whole sword and spear really comes into the fore here. Because even fully upgraded, their high melee defense and high morale is not giving them a good chance. Wow, no, it seems that we're even beating them quicker than last time. Ooh. They have killed like 30 or 20 odd of us, almost 30. Ooh, that was unfortunate for you. The officer's fighting? No, the off our officer doesn't have a shield. I'm still saying like, this guy with the mustache shield. Stand the bear just being like a giga chat as usual. Yeah, now we're gonna win the same same difference in soldiers last time, 40. But with their even higher morale, they might actually fight to the last man. So let's see. Yeah, no, we even have loads of soldiers actually not fighting. But we had the same amount of numbers. I really wanted to do a, a 1v1 where our units have the same amount of numbers. So there was not that advantage for the Portuguese soldiers. But alas. They fought a bit longer and they killed a bit more than us, but the Hodeleros have it. A convincing 2-0 victory for the Hodeleros against the Yari Ronin. So I guess this disgraced samurai or just a samurai without daimyos really needed a bigger incentive to fight. And so you have it. The Yari Ronin have lost against our best sword infantry, which to be fair, this is our... our or officer here doing something. This, to be fair, they they might not be elite in my opinion, but they are incredibly, incredibly strong unit. So thank you very much for watching this one v one, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and see you guys next time.